been doing a basic pyramid. Uh, I've been basically doing, you know, start with compact exercises and build kind of hamstring and uh, more isolated exercises around it. And I'm starting with um, pyramid, warming up, then doing 10, 8, 8, 6, 4, increasing the weight. Whenever I had two plates, 245s, uh, a month ago, I really, really struggled with it. I could maybe do it for six reps. This is my second set. I'm going to do, uh, you know, two sets of, of eight with this weight, 45 and 35 pound plate. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm progressing very well on this current plan. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Feeling the best last week. Feel really good with legs, but I mean, I still made. I still feel much stronger on my legs, better on my form. I don't know. That's big of a problems with, you know, slightly higher weight. I've always struggle with knees. And I had a couple of knees injuries, so I could never actually get into the good leg working working program, and you know, get my leg strength up. Walking lunges, I'm doing four sets of 10 uh, with the same weight. You can increase the weight. Lunges are a great compound exercise for your leg strength, for you know, glutes, hamstrings, uh, quads. You also have to utilize your core strength. So the important thing to remember whenever you're doing walking lunges is to try to do your step uh, extended enough. You don't want to put all your weight uh, over your knee uh, as it can you know, lead to injury and stuff. So you kind of want to create a right angle whenever you're stepping with the leading foot and then you want to make sure that you're strengthening your core and you're driving up, you're not bending your back, you're not going side to side, but you're trying to drive up and kind of powerful explosion up from the ground. We're going to follow the exercise up with some leg extensions and some seated calf raises, 4 times 15 both exercises. Try to build my leg exercises around compound exercises. Compound exercises are exercises which uh, you know employ uh, numerous or various uh, various muscle muscle groups which are isolated. Stuff like leg extensions, um, seated calf raises, uh, you know examples from the legs. Those are isolated exercises. Stuff like squats, uh, you know Bulgarian Bulgarian squats, uh, stuff like deadlifts. <clears throat> power cleans, all these type of exercise, lunches, they are combo exercises employing more muscle groups. I'm doing a pyramid of warming up and then doing 10, 8, 8, 6, 4 while increasing the weight. Now, the next exercise I did stiff like deadlifts, um, hamstrings are very important and, and glutes are important for your you know, lower body strength, um, for the strength of your legs. And you know supporting adult muscle groups and those are huge muscle groups in your body so you, you don't you, you shouldn't neglect them stiff like deadlifts uh, another exercise with dumbbells I did four sets of ten um, another exercise walking lunges um, again that's a compound exercise so I try to increase the weight a little bit increase the dumbbell weight uh, I really focused on form employing numerous muscle groups um, doing strengthening my core 
keeping my core strong as I'm driving, you know, from the position up from the ground. Going too slow, not going too fast, and definitely not putting your weight uh, over your knee as that can lead to injury. Next exercise, the leg extensions. I did four times, 12 reps. I increased the weight in the middle again. The last exercise is seated calf raises, four times 15. Uh, again, I tend to sometimes neglect calves. However, seated calf raises for me are working pretty well. As an end note, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, if you feel like you're not progressing enough or if you're trying to compare yourself to other people or your strength to other people, um, that's, not, that's not a great way to go about fitness or about exercising at all. I've done that for you know so so long. I've always tried to compare my strength to other people who'd be saying, "Yeah, I can you know squat 16,000 pounds." And I was like, "Well, I do two 45 pound plates, and you know I can maybe rep it six or eight times." And I always felt bad about it. However, now I'm trying to start to figure out that uh, you know fitness and your overall progression should be about your enjoyment of fitness and your enjoyment of the journey. So you know, stop worrying too much about what other people think. Of your performances I'm, I'm learning it by myself now so try to progress with yourself even though some of uh, some of you will probably think that you know my my leg exercises my my squats for example are very very weak i consider the progress that it wasn't the you know the strongest of the workouts however um i feel progression in my strength in my form um it comes you know more naturally to me the lift and you know i've been in a good regime for about a month so I consider it the progress. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you next time either with a recipe or another exercising video. So thank you, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.